All right, folks, welcome back to Big Man's World of Wonders. I don't know if you noticed up here, I have all these other microphones. These are the ones I told you all about, right? They're all gonna be linked below in the description so you can pick them up if you wanna get them. Also, again, don't please subscribe to, to our channel, like button. our channel, follow us, support us, give us suggestions, comments, questions, all those things, we like those things. So we're gonna just quickly open these up and I'll touch on what the now you know what i'm just gonna open them up right now once we test them all i'll tell you a little bit more about them but basically these are all condenser microphones and they've got a cardioid pattern which means that basically they pick up from a certain direction they're directional they're unidirectional and the cardioid pattern determines how wide that is with the sm series just like with their handheld microphones you have a tighter cardioid pattern so that it's supposed to filter out more of side noise if you're on stage if you're next to a drummer you don't want to hear his drums picking up in your mic so the mic is unidirectional and it's a tighter pattern so we're going to test all that and see the first one is this one pga 31 as you might see this says tqg pga 31 tqg is that little connector this one here that's what that means so make sure you get the one that has that otherwise it's not going to work okay let's go ahead and open this up give you an idea of what it looks like and then I'll give you a little bit more in depth when we actually go to use them but here it is oh, I gotta get in here all right so this one looks like this. Now, here's the microphone. Now, I didn't really show you the other one either. Here's the one that came with our set. This is the MX-153 microphone. They say that this is one of their much better, higher end for voice. The things about the MX that are, are a little bit different is they've got enhanced plosive protection, which is when you have the P's and when you get on the microphone, if you're too close and you say plosive, plosive, you hear that plosive that hear that so this one is supposed to have enhanced protection and it's not supposed to have any proximity effect. If you don't know what proximity effect is, it's the effect of the base of your voice as you get closer or further away from a microphone. So a lot of people, when they sing, they put the microphone very close to their mouth because they want a deeper, more bassy kind of sound. So if you put it closer to your mouth, you get the proximity effect. Now, some people also do that because they don't really have the vocal strength and they Need to put it there to get heard but proximity effect here i'm about maybe eight inches from my microphone and you'll hear as i get closer to the mic the proximity effect and now i'm getting the plosives too i'm going to try not to get them but you can hear the the proximity effect in my voice you can hear that it's got a lot more bass in it and as i move back you can see that it's more natural sounding i don't have that deep bassy voice like that but anyway this one is supposed to have extra protection for that it's supposed to have superior clarity for voice that's why we're going to hopefully keep this one but this one was more expensive a couple hundred dollars more as a package than this one and this one is supposed to be excellent also the pga 31 it's sturdy it's lightweight it has our proper connector it has the microphone now here's another thing i forgot to tell you this one is omnidirectional meaning that it picks up the sound in all directions around this microphone this one is a cardioid pattern so what that means if you can envision like maybe a heart sitting upside down on here it's going to pick up the sound from in front and a little bit to the sides but it's not going to pick up the sound from behind so that should intuitively i would think that this one would pick up more background noise than this one because this one is pointed right at your mouth it's got a cardioid pattern so that's intuitively what i would think but that might not be the case that's why we're going to test it we're going to test and see how that works when we do our test we're going to test for background noise we're going to put on some youtube where you've got a bunch of background noise so we're going to see if you can hear it what else came in it we've got a couple windscreens we've got a little clip for the cable that you can clip on your shirt or whatever just for cable
table management. So I'm not gonna use that right now, but I'm gonna take this one out of the box and I'm gonna leave it right here. The next one we're gonna look at is gonna be this WH30. Again, TQG means that um, it's got that connector again. So this one also is a lightweight. It has the ability to have an elastic headband also. And this might be, see, you can see it right here. See the elastic headband? So this might be a really good choice for someone who's really active, like a aerobics instructor or somebody along those lines. So yeah, the WH20, it has a similar microphone, cardioid pattern. It has a similar, what looks to me like a very similar capsule, but actually, no, it doesn't. It looks, it looks kind of different. It looks kind of cool, actually. Look at this one. This one's got this little metal windscreen and another little rubber dealy here. And like I was talking, talking about it has elastic headband so if you were doing an exercise class I like to move it move it I like to move it move it yeah I like to move it I like to move it move it I like to move it move it or something along those it would probably be a great choice I don't know that it's necessary for us but at the end of the day if it has the better sound then I don't care if it has an elastic headband I'm gonna try to carefully take this out of the package Give it a little gentle pull. What else is in the box? Bunch of plastic, couple windscreens, and it also has a clip for this one. It's interesting. Assumedly for also for the cable, but this one is like almost like a badge holder clip. It's it's very different than the other ones. So let's put this one to the side. Also, this has a little hang tag, headset, microphone, important instructions telling you how to put the microphone, you know, not too far from your mouth, not right in front of your mouth. Be careful. So it's supposed to be ruggedized, it's supposed to have have a natural frequency response and it's also supposed to have a uh, the tolerance for a high input without clipping you know so uh we'll see how that one goes we're gonna set this one right here too two and now we've got the sm35 tqg meaning we have the right connector it's a sm microphone so it's in the same line as the sm58 it's usually supposed to have a tighter cardioid pattern to prevent sound coming from next to you or outside and it is also supposed to be able to take a lot of extra input level. If you're on stage performing, you might get really excited and start screaming. It, it shouldn't overload. It's kind of designed for that. And you'll see it's again, it's kind of similar to the other ones, but it's got its own little look too. They all look pretty cool. I'm going to actually hold these up so you can kind of see the heads of the three different microphones and how they're slightly different in size. Let me straighten them out a little bit if I can. And so you can all see the three different ones. They're pretty cool actually. I like them. I like them all. See if I can put my hand behind it or something so you can see it. Let's see. Eh, you can kind of see it. Let's do it a close up. Let's try to do a close up there. One, two. It's kind of hard to handle these all at once. Sorry you all. There, that's kind of a good shot, right? You can kind of see the difference. There you go. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're all pretty cool. SM35 has a little bit of ruggedized headband situation. Let me get this out of the way so we can see this a little better. Lightweight, low profile, has a snap in windscreen. Yeah, it's it's very similar. Unidirectional pattern. Nice. I, I kind of just off of the build. This one is the one I'm really liking the best. This one I know is supposed to be very durable, but it's got, I don't know, a little bit of a lightweight kind of very, very lightweight feel. This one is the $49 one, and it kind of feels like the $49. $49 one, but again, I don't really care. It's, it's the sound that I'm really looking for. So let's, we should try to get into this. Let's do some testing and see. We're going to, like I said, we're going to test both with and without the channel strip. And so we'll let you know what we're doing and how we're doing it so that you can, you know, we're trying to be very transparent. We're really trying not just to do a review of this for the purpose of you all, but we want to use this and we want it to sound to be the best one so let's go let's connect it okay here we go now keep in mind we are also direct into 
our interface at this point. We're not using our channel strip. So, you know, check out how my voice sounds. See if you think it sounds better or worse now. To me, in my headset, it sounds worse, but we'll see. Okay, so here it goes. We can wear it on either side. I'm gonna put it on my right side, put around my ear. Ugh. Don't, Don't forget, forget to, to smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to button. watch our channel, like our channel. Okay, so yeah, so I put this headset on. Now this little tiny one, it fits very nicely actually. I put it just goes around my ear, so I'm wearing a full cup headphones and yeah, over the ear headphones, and I have no problem wearing this one with this headphones, which is that's kind of cool actually. You know, with a microphone, you want to have the microphone situation so it's not right in front of your mouth. I think here, look, I'm going to show you this that they gave us. Can you guys see this? Okay. You see, you don't want it way out here to the side. You also don't want it way over. Look, I'm trying to do it backwards. I'm all confused. You don't want it here right in front of your mouth. You do want it about three quarters, not in front of your mouth. So it doesn't pick up all the plosives and the sibilants. And so plosives and sibilants. So try to do it like that. That's how I have it on my mouth now. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to plug in this XLR cable to my device. Okay, so we're back with you. I'm going to see, I'm going to angle this mic a little bit and see what I can get if it changes the sound, changes it a little bit. Okay, so now it's really loud in my headset right now. So I'm going to have that turned down just a tiny bit. Okay, all right, so now I can hear it very clear. To me, it sounds... Mm, it doesn't sound great. You know, maybe I wasn't fair because I went from a larger diaphragm microphone, mostly through a channel strip, although not right before I did this. This one does sound kind of midi to me. I, I Midi like being a lot of mids. I feel like, ooh, ooh, I don't really know that I love the way it sounds. I mean, I love the fact that I can move my head left and right. I can lean way out over here. I can lean way over here. Wow, see, I just bumped the camera but the sound didn't change so that part i like overall the way the mic sounds in my in my head uh, i don't love it i really don't love it i don't know how we'll have to listen back we're going to listen back to the recording so i can give you some thoughts on how the different ones are going to sound this one comparatively in my head ooh. And considering this is supposed to be the really great one, maybe I'm just looking for a different sound. Maybe if I was just in a hall giving a sermon or a speech, something like that, maybe it would. But maybe the plosive protection, proximity effect thing, honestly, it sounds a little thin to me. And I feel like maybe we didn't take the time to set the interface to its best, but I feel like it's also a little bit, a little bit hot. The mic seems a little bit hot. Now, we did talk about that there are some settings in here plus and minus but i don't want to start messing with that because i don't really know what that is but i think it sounds good i think it sounds very clear you know to do typical things maybe i say testing one two three mike testing one two three how does this sound? Listen to the tone of my voice. Try to tell me how this sounds. Give us a comment, subscribe, like our channel. But we're really, what we're trying to do is we're really trying to just test this mic. I'm gonna try not to like over do it. I'm going to just do it like I am. I had thought about singing something, but I don't know. I'm not really a singer, so I don't want to scare anybody, but we're really trying to do spoken voice here anyway. So I think we're going to stick to that. It's clear. Sounds kind of midi. I am hearing the semblance. It's pretty strong. Let me see if I adjust this mic again. I don't know. That might sound a little bit better. Let's see. Any better? Any better? Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe it sounds a little better now. Uh, you know, this is an omnidirectional microphone, which is a little bit weird. So yeah, maybe that sounds a little bit better now. What do you guys think? Does that sound better? I think it sounds a little better. I don't know. I think it does. I think it's got a little bit more of a rich tone, a little bit of that hollowness maybe has smoothed out. I'm going to listen back and we'll all see like, did it, did it? Was it, was it just that I had it not really adjusted just right? I mean, I'm new at this. I don't know if I've got it just right, but I think it sounds a little bit better right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch to the next 
to the next. I think the next one we're gonna try is gonna go, we're gonna go right now. We'll see how different this is. This one is a PGA 31. So the PGA 31 is the cheapest of them. This same kit with this headset versus the one I have on now, the MX 153 is $200 difference in price. And the only difference is the microphone. So that being said, let's go ahead and switch it and let's see what we think. I think I'm gonna turn the gain down just a little tiny bit too. I feel like I'm getting a little too much on this mic, just a little tiny bit. Yeah, that probably is better. Eh, maybe a little, a hair more. I think it's still a little bit hot. Yeah. I think that's good. I think that sounds a little better. I feel like I'm not gonna overload the mic. I felt like before I had to be very careful cause I, I felt like it was right on that edge. I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know if you have to or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut off this uh, transmitter pack. Remember the pack? Well, there it is. I'm going to shut it off before we, we continue, before we switch it. Just right as I notice the diameter of the cable, this uh, PGA 31, it's a heavier gauge cable. This one is definitely very, very lightweight and small, which I think is probably a good thing, but I think it also could be a bad. Supposedly reinforced with Kevlar to make it a little bit more durable. I'm not sure. It also, I think there was something about it. It's supposed to have some uh, shielding against cell cellular radio frequency interference and things like that. So let me shut this off for a second and then I'm gonna switch the mic and we're gonna be back with the PGA 31. Okay, hold on. I also am gonna to have to see honestly how this is gonna fit if and how this one is gonna fit underneath my headset. Here we go. Okay, turn this thing off. All right, we're switching it on here now. I think you guys can hear us. I'm gonna try to fit this underneath my headset. Okay, I think we're back. I think with this one, we need to turn up the gain a little bit. So it seems like we get a little less gain out of this mic. Although again, I don't know about the, uh, let's turn it down just a little tiny bit. Let's see. Okay, so testing one, two, three. I think that's probably good like that. Testing one, two, three. I don't know if, we, I think on the last one, we forgot to turn on the background noise like we promised you we were going to do. But we'll do it on this one, and then maybe we'll go back and do it for the other one to see, because we really did want to do that test. Although maybe we'll just do a section where we do that and we'll switch it. And Boom, 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 boom. I don't know. Okay, so it sounds okay to me. It definitely doesn't sound as clear, but I don't hear as much semblance either. I think maybe I need to turn my headphones up just a little bit because it's a little quiet to me. I keep feeling like I want to lean up to the mic, but I think I have plenty of gain, so I don't really want to do that. Okay, so here we go. All right, well, it sounds pretty good. It definitely doesn't sound as crisp as the other one did. The little noise you're hearing I'm adjusting it a little bit I would say it definitely doesn't sound as crisp as this one did but I don't know that that's a bad thing this thing actually sounds pretty darn good in the headset it doesn't sound real lively you know if I'm like comparing it to my Neumann but it doesn't sound bad honestly it fit underneath my headset I had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out which way it really is supposed to go on my head like I said I'm a newbie with this so that's probably just me but I kind of like this one. I think this one's is pretty good. I think that I don't know. It has a little bit, a little bit less MIDI sound, a little bit more bottom end. I'm gonna try to adjust this also because I think, see, on this one, even though the other one definitely doesn't want it, you know, the, their whole thing is you don't want the proximity effect. But well, if I actually move this mic a little bit closer to my mouth and use that proximity effect to my benefit, I kind of think it sounds good now. I kind of and I'm kind of digging it. Now, again, I think there's definitely a learning curve in the placement of the mic in relation to your mouth and the tone you get through it. I'm adjusting it right now as I'm speaking. If you hear a little shuffling, that's because that's what I'm doing. I want to get it close to my mouth, but I think when I said shuffling a second ago, I kind of caught a breath out of the side of my mouth and it kind of picked up. But that to me sounds pretty good. I'm kind of liking that sound for myself. I think it has a little bit of a richer sound. Maybe it's not as like crystal clear, but I think I kind of like it. I'm going to move it just slightly away from my face and I'm going to say testing one, two, three. We're testing. This one is the PGA 31 headset is their entry level device. It's got a permanently charged electric condenser mic. It's a unidirectional cardioid polar pattern. So it's supposed to get rid of some of the background noise. Let's see if I just like clap a little bit. 
I don't know, you probably can hear that because it feels like I can hear it in my headset, but maybe it's not like all that, okay? Yeah, gooseneck little headset with the gooseneck mic. The headset's the kind that kind of goes behind your head. It doesn't really go over your head, which is, I think, why it kind of fit with my headset all together. I kind of like it. I mean, it says that the frequency response is tailored for great sound on vocals, so I don't know, man. I kind of like this one, but let's see. This is the, the least expensive. So if I like this one, hey, that's that's kind of a win, right? I'm going to go ahead real quick and let's go ahead and turn the background noise on. And I'm going to keep talking and we're going to turn it up. He's going to turn it up to a level that's, you know, decent. It's, it's playing through a TV. I can definitely hear the noise in the background on my headset. I'm going to stop talking for a second and you can hear. That's like some street noise kind of sound. I don't know if we have anything else to play for you or maybe we fast forward this thing a little bit to get. I was thinking about maybe, you know, just some more clanging and banging kind of thing. But yeah, so I can hear it. I think you guys can probably hear it too, but we'll review that too. We'll play it back, listen back and we're here don't so forget please subscribe to smash to the, the subscribe channel. button please like us please follow us we're gonna put links to all this stuff down below go ahead and click the links if you like what we've done come back give us some pointers give us some questions let's interact let's talk about these things so i'm gonna switch this one more time i'm gonna go ahead to the next one i think the next one i'm gonna try is gonna be this wh20 this again it, i think it's designed kind of like exercise kind of deal it has a little picture so it shows you how I'm supposed to put it on so maybe this one I can get right looks like it goes this way comes back over my ear right okay let's try it let me undo this cable the WH20 extra strong they say extra strong okay and this one is supposed to be comparable to a handheld microphone this has a little clip here <laughs> okay 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 also humidity temperatures moisture this thing is durable for those it's really designed I, i'm feeling like this is really designed for you know like a exercise instructor i like to move it move it i like to move it move it yeah i like to move it I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. But let's give it a go. Turn this off. I'm going to try to do this quicker. Sounds a little thin. I'm going to try to adjust the mic on this one. And let's see if it can make it a little better. Okay. One, two, one, two. Definitely has the ability to have some proximity effect. Okay. Check one, two. Check one, two. I think somewhere right in there is going to be the best it sounds to me. So how does it sound? How does it sound to you guys? How does it sound overall? I definitely hear the semblance a little more it has a little bit more of a, a brighter like crispier sound but i don't know it also gives me a little more of that mid-range thing i could i did and could adjust the microphone although it seems like maybe it's too close to my mouth let me do it again because i heard it okay so yeah i mean i think it sounds good i think it sounds pretty good actually um i just adjusted it a little bit it sounds pretty clear it's got a little bit of a midi sound but it sounds pretty clear it's got a little bit of that crispiness but i don't think it's a uh, like a kill you kind of semblance and you know plosives i don't think that any of these have really had any issue with plosives i kind of thought that the first one was probably the thinnest sound so yeah i think this one is okay this is the wh20 not bad not bad i don't know that i really do i think i like it better than the last one i think it's a little clearer but it is also a little bit more of a mid kind of sound and i don't know that i love it i'm really gonna have to listen back to these on the tape and on the recording it's not tape let's see i just showed my age i'm gonna have to listen back on the recording and hear how it sounds listening back not just in these headphones i'm kind of still thinking i like the other one I'm, I'm almost thinking i still like the pga 31 better than this one but we'll have to see we'll turn on the the background noise i don't know it's on now if you can hear it just some kind of street sound almost sounds a little bit like white noise on my side but yeah I think uh, it's good. 
I think it's a good headset. Again, I'm kind of still thinking that PGA 31, the least expensive one so far, I'm thinking I kind of like that one better. But we're going to listen back. I think I'm going to just keep moving. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the uh, SM35. SM35 has a tight cardioid pattern to help prevent background noise, all those kind of things. It really is designed kind of for live sound, but I think it might work well. It's legendary, right? It's a legendary cartridge. So let's go ahead and switch that over and let's see how this one sounds. So now we have the SM35 and honestly, I don't know why I would sound surprised, but I think I kind of like this one. This one has a nice sound, at least in my head, it has a pretty darn nice sound. It sounds pretty rich, it sounds pretty clear. Here's the conclusion. We're gonna rank these things for you. To me, for what I'm doing here, the clear winner is this one. This is the SM35. I liked everything about it. I think it gave a very nice, warm, rich sound. Maybe it's also just a very familiar sound. Had a very almost broadcast, you know, what you'd expect it to sound like. The others, I thought, were thinner in sound in that respect i think i like the pga 31 as far as richness maybe second but here's the ranking my top choice for what i'm doing for spoken for sure for overall sound of the voice i'm gonna go with the sm35 headset that's my favorite that's the middle of the line as far as the cost number two i'm having a really hard time deciding between the mx 153 and the pga 31 the most expensive and the least expensive. It's kind of a close tie. If I had to only have one and I couldn't have the 35, I think I'd probably rate go for the PGA 31. I think that the MX 153, I think it's clearer, but I think that overall it's a little bit of a thinner sound and it definitely in the background noise test picks up more background noise. For sure that is true, but very comfortable, almost like wearing nothing, very, very clear not as quite of a mid-range sound as I thought it was when I listened to it back. It was a pretty darn good sound, but it lacked a little bit of the richness that I personally want. You know that broadcast, it's, it's somewhat of the proximity effect that this one cancels out. I kind of like it. It gives it a nice rich tone. So I would probably rate this one number two for my purposes. Overall, I might rate this one number two. I'd almost consider keeping this one as a second to the SM. 35 for those times where you want something just very discreet and clear preacher public speaking that type of thing this would be awesome the last one here clear loser is going to be this one which is the uh, wh20 kind of designed for very active people i don't need that i thought the sound was mid-rangey thin not really great uncomfortable headset by far the most <laughs> uncomfortable and the worst sound comfort wise for sure mx 153 sm 35 was very very comfortable noticeably more comfortable than the pga 31 or the wh of course we're not going to talk about that anymore so there you go for me i'm gonna go sm 35 i might like i said i might decide to keep you know have two just just because i don't know but anyway the system is great it sounds really clear they all sounded really good they all sound really pro i don't think any of them is a bad choice if you're an instructor, go with that one. Otherwise, I like that. For what I'm doing, Preacher, take this one. That's it. Subscribe to, to our channel. Like button. us, follow us. Come back, watch more videos. We'll have links to all this gear down below. By the way, the Neumann microphone, I still think overall sounds best. But I will tell you, in an open room where I have no sound treatment in the room, I think that the Neumann picks up a little bit too much of the size of the room. And so I think for what I'm doing, the SM35 is going to outpace even my Neumann mic. Come back, watch some more videos. We'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching this episode. Hey, if there's something you'd love to see on this show, leave us a comment below.